happy 2021. I know it's a couple weeks in, but you know, I'm still going to be like, happy new year. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so for those who saw my bonus vlog three of Vlogmas, you saw that I opened my Christmas presents, which I also mentioned, I think, in that video that due to the hecticness the last five, six years or so, Stefan and I typically open our presents on New Year's Eve because that's when we were able to slow down, be together, hang out, and spend the time. Just the two of us, you know, reflecting and just kind of is a new tradition that we, we do. So we opened up our gifts and we put them in that blog, but I didn't go too in depth other than just kind of showing what the few things that I got, my LV agenda and this. <laughs> and we'll be talking about this tonight. And I also got a ring from the Modern Gents Co. And I ended up not liking it. So I told my husband, poor thing. He, I mean, it was it's pretty and all, but it, you could just tell it was glass. And there's some really good high quality CZ out there. In fact, I really like Diamondique. Some pieces, not all pieces, but some pieces. And then for the longest time, I really liked Xavier HSN had a certain line and the cut of the stone plus the settings. I wore one that somebody swore looked like there. It was a real antique. Like nobody could tell it was fake. So I love it. Of course, it was set in real gold too. So that maybe helped. But anywho, yeah, poor thing. He tried to <laughs> be a doll, but you know that happened. Anywho, he, uh, in that video, we mentioned that he clicked gift wrap and I opened this cardboard, plain cardboard box. And I was expecting to see, you know, a white, has Salah, Siaz, I'm going to say it right one of these days, I promise, box. And instead it, it was just the perfume box and this, and then at the bottom of it was this with also this little like... I want to say tyvek -y kind of material shopping bag. So I was like, oh, I think you were supposed to wrap it in one of these because inside there's really pretty tissue paper and black and a really nice red bow or ribbon for the bow. No, but I mean, just really, really nice. I mean, this is thick card stocky kind of bag. So very, very nice, very luxurious. Like I said, it says Disney House of Solage on the ribbon. So this was meant to be under the tree, I'm assuming. And he didn't know that. So he just packed it in the cardboard box that it came in and didn't, didn't know. But that was pretty cool to get these um, kind of bonus items. And this is really um, a decent size. I thought, oh, maybe a lunch bag or something. But it's pretty good size. I wouldn't take it necessarily grocery shopping, but definitely like, you know, Ulta, Sephora, you know, into a store for like nicer stuff so cute like it very nice so but yes the piece de raisons resistance as they say so you get your usual house of solage card and he had gotten me a gift note as well i already packed it away but it had like you know the merry christmas i love you blah blah blah, blah stuff so here is the card it tells you about the collection and top notes and everything i'm going to read that as well in just a sec, here's the cute card. So this joyful fragrance transports you to the magical world of Disney with their iconic Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, celebrating the greatest love story ever known between Minnie and Mickey Mouse, created by House Siage founder and CEO, Nicole Mather. This whimsical scent for all is symbolic of the famous couple's ever loving relationship, incorporating sparkling notes of refreshing coconut, cocoa, and sweet vanilla. And it's dynamically presented in a playful Mickey silhouette design cap with 18 karat gold accent and you know, the usual pretty cupcake stuff. Top notes, bergamot, mandarin, cardamom, heart notes, orange blossom absolute, coconut milk and cocoa absolute, which I'm just fascinated with. Base notes, modern amber, sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. They said this would be limited quantities produced worldwide, housed in a collector's box. I'll get to that in a sec. The French glass cookie cupcakes and adorned with over a hundred Swarovski crystals and plated 18 karat gold. It's gorgeous. Just in the box, I would like through the little saran wrappy 
oh my gosh, and, there's, and then it's wrapped again in, in plastic. So, I mean, it's really, really exquisitely taken care of. I don't think the normal cupcakes come this nicely packaged, but I might be wrong. So, we're going to try out this one, and it came with a free gift as well. All right, so really cute top. Is that on the front? I'll do that very quick so y'all can see that as well. So let's let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, nice! And this is a really nice velvety type top. How do you open? Oh, okay. There it goes. Oh, cute! So the little card, authenticity cards, down here right there and then it looks like this is supposed to be several layers to protect the ears that's why I'm having so much trouble so there we go that is so cute that's killing me so behind it nice black dust cloth normally you get a white one at least with the one that the two I have so let's put this aside I mean, isn't that just awesome? Both sides, all the crystals and the red. I mean, it's just iconic, iconic Disney. And it says Disney House of Solage there. Siage. See, I'm gonna keep doing that. Never gonna say it right. Oh, pretty gold cap. Disney. So let's let's try this out. It's so pretty. I mean, this is exactly what I would wear. I think I got a sample of it a few months ago, and that I told my husband, "Oh yeah, 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 this is what I want." I did, and that's why I'm doing it. I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to talk about that at the end. <laughs> Because I have the sample up there with the Wonder Woman fragrance, and then I've got the one I got with this order. So we'll get there. Oh yeah. I mean the dry down, it's just the the nicest. I mean, it's fruity and gourmand. It's just exactly what I would wear. I love it. I'm so excited that he got this for me. I would never I mean it was not cheap. I mean, there it's still available on the website. So at, as of this is January 11th, I'm recording this. It is still available. There's also a lipstick case, $3.95 for it. They do afterpay if you need to do that. So you can go that route to make it more reasonable for you. It's nice, but you know, otherwise we um, did, when we ordered it, it had a special where if you spent a certain amount, you got a gift and I think I confused when he told me what it was I thought it was going to be one of these and I'll show it real quick I thought it was gonna be one of these and I thought well god that's a huge gift for what we're spending it doesn't seem right but then when it came in I go oh it's just the I think it's gonna be just the travel spray with maybe one refill in it but I will see so and it's ho ho hot spijou, hot spijou. I don't know how to say that at all. I took French for one year and I don't remember any of it. But this one is supposed to be top notes grapefruit mango, heart note iris caro carondi. I don't know how to what that even smells like. Heliotrope base note and amber. So let's see. What this one looks like and there's the little stickers on it Ooh, okay so it's a gold like a plain gold not in, not the was it arabesque i think is the design that the other ones have so that's gonna get fingerprints on it real easy but it still has the swarovski crystals has the one big one up there this is house of siage on there and parfum and it's just the one so let's see what Hoots, Hoots Bijou smells like. Be sure I don't have anything on this one. Yeah. 
Okay. This one's definitely more floral, not gourmand at all. I would have thought with the grapefruit and the mango, I would have gotten more citrus. It's interesting. It's not bad. It reminds me of, this is horrible to say, but you know, a shampoo scent. So something you wouldn't, I wouldn't normally just gravitate toward as a perfume, but I would like it as a, a nice high-end shampoo of some sort. And there's this one scent, this one note that the chemical of it, I can't describe why it's kind of slightly off-putting. I'm not against it, but it's definitely not my usual. So it says, inspired by the splendor of magnificent sea turtle, the sweet and tropical fragrance sparkles with succulent notes of grapefruit and mango paired with the enchantments of the rare Caro Carunde blossom. That's gotta be it, Caro Carunde blossom. This charming and delightful fragrance is a luminous expression of abundant beauty and sweet fortune and presents a decadent composite of fruity and floral scents as the most dazzling gem in the ocean. As it's drying, it's a little less off-putting, but right at the at the start, there's just something, and I can't describe how it, I don't know if anybody else has this reaction, but sometimes irises, and I see irises in here, not irises, I'm sorry, lilies, lilies. Sometimes I get, I get really bad migraines in general, but from lilies, especially, my husband bought me flower bouquets before, and it's that stargazer lily. It's the pink and white one. I can't remember which exactly it is, but that particular one, there was one bouquet he bought me and there was like four of them in that. And I, that the, my room just, it was overtaken by that, that flower. And I literally for two days just was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> this is horrible. At the time we didn't know that they were toxic to cats. So if you like flowers, <laughs> FYI, those are toxic to cats. So we ended up getting rid of them but I now I just don't like them in the house. I have them in my yard. Actually, not here. My old house had them in the yard. So I don't mind them outside. And when they have, you know, plenty of fresh air, beautiful flowers and nice to be around, but in an enclosed area, oh my Lord, it's just a lot. So yeah, I can't say that's my favorite, but I'm not completely disgusted or anything by it, but yeah. And I, I'm glad I got it as a free gift as opposed to, you know, getting it in a mystery box and having it be like the one thing I'd probably do a giveaway for it. And maybe, you never know, maybe this would be the thousand subscriber giveaway. I'll do it once. Anyway, I'll mess with that there. So to the giveaway, like, comment, subscribe, share, get people to watch me in my chaos that I am in, in this state. So I'm, I've got, as I mentioned in Vlogmas, I got these two samples and I wanted to pass them along because I have this is a duplicate of when I well now the cupcake that I got but at the time I had a duplicate of this and this I have the travel spray of and four refills so I don't need this so I for people who want to try out Hasselage I want to give this to a subscriber once I hit 100 and then I'm adding also this bouge candle from Detique and as, you know, I get more things, I'll add to the little collective lot. But right now we're at that point. So I guess whatever, whenever I get to 100 subscribers, there'll be a little basket <laughs> of things. At this point, we're up to three items. So at that point, once I'm close to 100, I will announce how I'll do the giveaway exactly, how I'll draw the name. Um, it'll probably just be, you know, you know, comment and then a random, you know, draw of, of the of the post. But uh, I just want to get to that number and see how it goes and and keep along this this YouTube journey. Future. So let's see. We're mid January. I have another house of Siage purchase coming here in the next week or two. I have bought. I believe it was the diamond mystery box, the really big one. And that's coming with another fragrance as a bonus. That's a surprise. I don't know what it is. So I'll probably do two videos on that. And then that's just the unboxing. And then I'll do another try on where I'll do two scents. I'm probably going to do Emerald Rain 
and I think the number 10. So I'll basically do some different wear reviews on those fragrances. And then I've got a Louis Vuitton thing coming. So we'll talk about that at some point. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting next few videos and I hope for you. I'll do a random vlog here and there to update you about the house. We are looking at puppies and or, or and dogs in general, some that are up to two years old. In fact, we we kind of do want a dog who's not quite a puppy, something who's got some training. So we're looking at different rescues and shelters in the area and trying to find our our right fit for our next fur baby. It's yeah, it's kind of hard to get a dog. They they go really quick around here. So we, I mean, I might settle for a couple kitties again, but I, I really do want to try a dog and, and see how that goes for the next chapter of our lives. Cause I think that'd be a fun thing to, to do, take the dog with us on vacation and stuff. So yeah, just a different way of living than what we've had for the last 20 or so years of our, our marriage relationship. Yeah, so anyway, that's what this video is about. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what your favorite fragrances are from House of Siage. If any of the mystery boxes are appealing to you, there are a ton right now. I think Lunar New Year is happening. They're celebrating that for the folks, so we can take advantage of that as well. It's a, gonna be a good time to make some purchases in, in this particular genre of fragrance. So thanks very much. Take care. Bye.